Let's slow down a sec. This is Echo. Looks pretty cool, huh? As a bot for Geometry Dash, it's obviously designed to be able to record and replay macros. How good is it at doing that, you say? Well, it's good enough to the point where you can record any of the hardest levels with ease. And that's not obviously all what a bot has to do. The best bots have many features which allow you to record macros easier. As you can already tell here, there's already the default settings for FPS, for speed, for your macro, to save, load, etc. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. If we look at tools, there's a lot going on here. Immediately at the top, we have a macro converter. You can easily just choose the macro type you want to use, click import, go through the file select and choose one, and you're immediately set to start replaying your macro. Next up are a lot of general options. You can merge macros together in order to record two player sections individually. You have no clip if you'd like, you can click for both players, you can swap what inputs are for each player, you can inverse your inputs, say will shake effects, the right practice music, and there are already two very good features down here. Layout mode already helps a ton with being able to see things visually, and then you have show hitboxes, which allows you to see the hitboxes of objects very easily. Immediately afterwards, we already have another very good feature. Want to do the tightest gaps in the game with ease? Simple, just use the auto clicker, and it will do it for you. And lastly, the most powerful tool in botting, Frame Advance. You can get as close as you like, hold the button if you'd like to go faster, and boom, done. Oh, and if you're thinking, how do I set keybinds for any of these? Simply right click on the setting and you'll be able to set your keybind there. Now what if your macro tragically breaks and you're like, oh no, I'm gonna have to re-record everything. Do not fret, for the editor will save you here. Simply go up to where you died, edit the frame you clicked on, now you're all good to go. The editor can help you save in all circumstances of macro breaks, and it's an essential tool if you want to be more accurate. You can edit your macro outside of a level as well, do many things such as add inputs, move inputs up and down, change inputs to releases or player 2, and general things such as flipping presses and releases, and player 1 and 2, and removing inputs. Now that you have a perfect macro of your level, what if you want to record a video of it? Well, the renderer here will serve you very well. There's general presets for things like resolution, and you can edit that yourself. For instance, settings there's a lot more options such as video fps codec bitrate and things such as color fix and scroll speed bug fix this in particular will help very much so your music doesn't desync with the gameplay there's even more to go over in the extra renderer settings you can add fade in and fade out to your video so you have smooth transitions and implement your own ffmpeg arguments in here you can also adjust how much time you spent after you finish the level here once you do that you just put in a video name and start rendering and you'll have a perfect showcase of your level now what if you want to add clicks to your showcase but you don't know how. Well, the ClickBot helps you to do that easily. You can change the ClickBot settings for each individual player, make your own click pack or use one from the server and choose it here, enable any types of clicks you want, enable it, and Now you easily have a clickbot showcase. There's many other settings for you to adjust as well, such as the volume. You can adjust the overall volume or the volume of each individual type of click, and you can even adjust the algorithm for how the volume changes throughout the level. And in times here, you can adjust when each of the clicks are used. So for example, if you think you're having too many soft clicks, you can simply turn this down and they'll happen less often. And you can see when each type of click is used here. Using this tool is a great way to get clickbot videos easily, and it will work with any macro you use. Now what if you don't like the look of Echo and you want to change it in order to make it look better. The theme tab has all of the customization you need. The sizes of things such as window padding, frame padding, cell padding. You can add borders around things such as the windows or the frames or the tabs. You can adjust the rounding of things such as the window or other elements. And in my favorite section, the colors. Every single color within the UI can be adjusted and it can create so many combinations. You want a border dark theme? Here you go. You want it to look like Mega Hack? Here you go. Now it looks like Arva. Now it looks like Z-Ball, and any other combination you can imagine in your head can probably be done. So that's Echo, the free Geometry Dash bot that has literally every single possible tool you need. If you'd like to get it, simply look in the description for a download and the link to the Discord server. Have fun with the best free bot ever made.